Hey everybody, this is Technoli and we got a fun one today. I was on eBay the other day and I found this Lenovo uh, E431 laptop for $40 and that included shipping. There's a ton of these. They were sold to corporations obviously, but there's just a ton of these little notebooks and they're really nice. They're an i3 processor. They've got four gigabytes of RAM. You can upgrade that if you want. I didn't do it on this one. And it come, this came with a standard mechanical hard drive. You could leave that in there, but I put a SATA in here for $30 just to make it even faster. So I'm going to show you this one step by step. It's really easy and it's a vanilla. So uh, no bloatware or anything else on this one. Let's get started. All right, so as you guys know, if you've watched any of my other videos, we have to start with a empty, get a 16 gigabyte um, flash drive, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and format this. So put it in, and we're gonna go over here to utilities, disk utilities, we're gonna show all devices and there it is our sand disk click erase and then i'm going to name it usb we're going to leave it mac os extended journal and we have to change this to guid partition map click erase okay now in order to make this bootable thumb drive don't forget you're going to need to either be on a mac computer that has Mojave on it, which has this install Mojave in the applications folder, or you'll have to download this somewhere and get it on the computer you're going to make your USB with, okay? So we'll go to the internet, and let's type in how to create a, mm, let's say, Mac USB installer, okay? And it pops right up here, the first one, which is the Apple website. So we'll go down here, and we're using Mojave, so we're gonna copy this line of text. Just highlight it, copy, all right? And then we're gonna go to Terminal, all right? So, Terminal, and then just paste and changed my volume to USB, which is what we named our flash drive. Hit enter, put in your password, and say yes. Okay, all right, so this will take about 20 minutes to be completely done. It'll go across here and have percentages and everything. Okay, so once we are done, with the formatting of the flash drive, we're gonna have this USB drive right here. So we're gonna to go to Clover Configurator. You're gonna to have to download this from the internet. Just type in Clover Configurator Download and you can get it in many different places. We'll open this up, click Mount EFI, and this is the USB that we just created. So we'll mount it, put in our password, Okay, and we can see the partition right here. Now, in your newly formatted drive, you're not going to have an EFI folder right here. So you're going to download this one, which is in the description, and we're going to copy it over to here. Just like that, and replace. All right, once we're done with that, we are ready to boot. So let's go ahead, shut down, and restart. Now before we boot with the flash drive, we have to go into the BIOS of this computer, which is F1. When you're booting up, you just press the F1 key. And we want to make sure everything is exactly the way I have it, or you'll have problems. 
So network, you want it to look just like this. USB, just like this. Keyboard and mouse, disabled. We're using the LCD, of course, on the laptop. You can leave the power like this. This doesn't matter. You have to have this on AHCI or it won't work. And CPU, you can leave both these enabled. Okay, we'll go over to security. We don't need to have anything enabled here. We want this UEFI BIOS update option, just disable it. This memory protection enabled is fine. Disable your Intel uh, VD2T. And in here, I went ahead and disabled the wireless LAN and WAN because it is not supported on this one. We're going to use this little $12 USB wireless adapter on this instead. So we just disable that. Bluetooth I disabled. USB ports have to be enabled and all of these can be enabled, disabled that. So we don't want to want to make it just like this. Anti-theft and all that just disabled. Secure boot has to be disabled. Now start up, I went ahead and you want to choose your USB hard drive as your first boot device, which is our SanDisk. UEFI only on the bootloader and no to CSM support. Everything else you can leave as it is. All right, and we can save and exit. Now on these computers, you press the F12 key to get to the boot menu. We'll select the SanDisk. All right, and we wanna go over here to the thumb drive. If you have a new hard drive that you're doing this on, you won't have these other uh, partitions or drives. So just hit the space bar, go down to Verbos, hit the space bar, and go back up, boot Mac OS with selected options. Now we all know this takes quite a bit of time to get through all of its uh, initializations and starting to load. So we'll come back when it comes up to the next screen. Now, sometimes you will swear that the thing has stopped and it's stuck on a particular line, but just be patient, let it go through. Okay, here it comes. Remember guys, like and subscribe, uh, or dislike, but uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can get updates, hit that little bell, on future Hackintosh builds. Doing a lot of these. And the more of these you guys do, the better you'll get at it. All right, once we get here, it's fun, you know that. So we wanna to go to Disk Utility, Continue, and then click on this little down arrow. We wanna show all devices. This is my Pony SSD, and we're gonna erase it. And just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Vanilla Mo. And see, my keyboard's not working, so I got to have that external hooked up for right now until we get further down the road. Vanilla Mo. All right. Mac OS Extended Journal GUID Partition Map. Erase. Okay. Now, let's get to installing it. Install Mac OS. Continue. And boom, there is the error. So to get around this, as you guys know, we just go over here to Utilities, go to Terminal Mode, type in Date, hit Enter. Whoops, got to use that other keyboard. Okay. So we have to change the date back. I'm going to set it back two years exactly. So 0118, uh, the time is fine, and we're going to put in 18. Okay, so now my 
date is back to 2018. Let's quit terminal. Continue. All right. We select our vanilla Mo that we just formatted and go. All right, guys, we'll come back when this gets done. Okay, it says about two minutes remaining, and I want you guys to see what happens here because this is going to restart on its own. Okay, so we want to press that F12 key again. and boot from our hard drive now. So Mac OS, we named it Vanilla Mo. So we're gonna hit the space bar, go down here to Verbos, space bar, and up here and go. Now we're moving a little quicker. We're gonna go through here and we're gonna come up to the next screen and it's going to continue its install. We'll be right back. All right. So we're going to get up here. And this is going to take uh, about 15 minutes. It'll tell you along the way how long it's going to take. And uh, just be patient with it. And then when it's done, it's going to reboot on its own again. And we're going to boot one more time from that USB. Okay, here we are, about one minute remaining. That feels like it takes forever. Now it's going to reboot on its own again. Just sit tight. And there it goes. Remember, we still have to boot one more time from the USB, so leave it in there. Okay, but we're going to go over to our newly installed drive. We're going to stay on verbose mode just to be sure. We'll get to the next step. Ah, yes. Back to that Apple logo. Our mouse is working now, our trackball. All right, so we're going to go down here to our country. Continue. That's fine. Now remember, 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 now we want to plug in our cable. Hopefully you have one. If not, don't worry about it. But we're going to plug it in. And then click continue. We'll leave this set to using DHCP. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to skip this. Agree to terms and conditions, name it, and give it a password. Okay, and here you can edit your little picture if you want. All right, continue. And I always set this to enable location services, and I turn this stuff off. Yeah, we'll use Siri. I'm going to choose dark mode. It's pretty. Okay, so now if you click on your keyboard here to get this to acknowledge, it won't work. So you can, if you still have your old uh, external hooked up, you can go ahead and get through this, or you can click skip. Okay. So let's see if we have any internet. Yeah, we got internet. But let's check other things. Let's go to system preferences and check sound. Okay, that's working. So we're gonna set it to speakers. And then we'll go over here to about this Mac. And we can see here, it did pick up the Intel 4000 chipset. So we're good there, and we're transparent down here. 
All right, now what we have to do is, if you'll remember, we had Clover Configurator, and I copied it onto my flash drive so I would have it when I get to this process. So let's double click on that, because we have to transfer the EFI folder to the hard drive. So we're gonna mount both EFIs, partitions. So we'll click on this one. This is for the, um, I don't need the new version right now. So we got the EFI folder right here that's on the flash drive, and then we need the one that's on the hard drive. So we'll mount it, open partition, there it is. Okay, go ahead and close configurator for now. Now you can see there's nothing, there's no Clover folder or anything in here. So we have to copy the EFI folder that, remember, you downloaded from the internet and put on under the description, and you put it on your flash drive, right? So we're going to copy that one from the flash drive partition, EFI partition, and put it into this one and click replace. Okay. Now we can restart and let's see if it works. And we can pull out our thumb drive. And all we have to do when we get to the boot screen is just select our hard drive. It's going to start automatically, but I'll go ahead and hit enter. Boots up pretty quick for an old machine. This was exciting. Hope you guys have fun with this one. Save yourselves a bunch of money to get yourselves a little laptop running Mojave. There we go. Let's go ahead and go back to the sound. Make sure, yep, everything is there. We'll show the speaker up here. And let's play a YouTube video real quick. Because a lot of people are going to say, oh, you can't do anything with it. Yeah, it installs, but you can't do anything with it. Well, yes, you can. It works really well. I have an old MacBook Air with only four gigabytes of RAM, and it runs amazingly good. So, here we are. A Geico commercial. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed this one. 